up, Jays? It's your boy Blasi Alpha Jane, and we are back with another video. Let's go. This time we're doing a review slash discussion of Zolver. It's gonna be real quick. We're gonna run through the points, pros, cons. Here we go. Pros. It's a fighting game. Pros. Yeah, it's a fighting game. It's a good fighting game. You can choose your style, where you want to fight, how you want to fight. Um, the stance that has different moves in it. Um, and it's a very, very, just all around interesting fighting game. I and I enjoyed it myself. Um, I'm not really into the whole martial arts fighting like For Honor. Really couldn't get along with it, even though I did put it in my my <laughs> outro video because it was it was a cool fight scene. It was a cool fight scene, but I couldn't really get into fighting games like this. But this game is interesting. I do like it. Um, there's a lot to learn about it. First, you would think it's just like uh, just smash, you know, the fighting the the uh, the square button to you. <laughs> beat your enemy and I mean I did that for a while you know so there is that but then when you get more into it and you start fighting people online and people that have practiced their fighting styles and timing you realize that you are not in it you know um, there's this little meter on it uh, when you throw a punch or when you throw a kick or a hit that pretty much is like you gotta get right in that area to throw a fast hit and I mean keep the combo going quickly and I mean it's amazing you get it you just throw them like crazy and you can really damage your opponent because they can't even block I mean it's too many hits coming at the once it pretty much uses less energy and it makes your hits faster so it's always a plus plus if you can get it in that margin um fighting multiplayer aspects you can play with friends or you can play with randoms randoms become friends if you fight and you can be like, oh, well, this is a cool person. Let's team up. Play through the game. You play through the game defeating the marked ones only, not the bosses. So that means the boss that tends to call more people to fight you or the two bosses that tag team and jump you, you can't have teammates on that one. Or the final boss, which makes sense. The final boss, you got to go through yourself. There's cutscenes. Your friend ain't going to be in it. So let's go on to the next one. Pros. You can learn moves that you want to learn from NPCs or your friends that already got these moves. So you ever see a move that that one enemy just did where they did a crouching tiger hitting dragon kick to your face and you want it? You better hold block and get it. Let them hit you as many times as you want them to to you learn that move. Only downside is you got to beat their ass once you learn it. Because if you don't and they win, all that time you spent is gone. It's gone. And you don't want that. You use things called essence, which is three crystals or two, well, two to five crystals that you will obtain through playing the game and leveling up. And I think the will power has something to do with it, but I don't know. Um, I'm going into this, it's like a half-ass review. <laughs> but basically, crystals allow you to get uh, use your abilities. Abilities are attained through fighting the marked ones or the bosses. Use abilities to heal, to stop your opponent, slow down your opponent, uh, affect your opponent or boost your defense. Also, if you have weapons, you can use the crystals to pretty much manifest weapons, well, materialize weapons out of thin air using the crystals. You would crystals uh, charge up by taking hits or using your uh, evade ability, which can be either absorb, parry, or dodge uh, when your opponent hits. Basically, it'll boost, uh, well, no, I don't think so. I think with the absorbability, <laughs> sorry, my bad. The absorbability is when you absorb the attack, all that goes towards a crystal, so it makes it charge up a lot faster. So you can then use your moves a lot quicker. The game, I would say, is interesting in its fighting styles. You can switch it up. You can use multiple different fighting styles in one character just by swapping up your, uh, your stances. I can go from just kicks to heart attacks to stagger style to win style. It's, it's crazy. It's very really interesting. I like the game. Um, see, the game doesn't hold your hand. That's another upside. I mean, some people might not like the game, you know, because they're like, oh, I don't know where to go. It doesn't tell me anything. It just throws me in this world and you have to be on your own. It can be a pro and a con in that area. I mean, because some people aren't used to the whole well, I go here, I go there, tell me where to go, you know, and stuff like that. You kind of got to explore on your own. You can fight any of the Mark ones out of order, like I did. I fought the second Mark one before I fought the first, and so on and so forth, because I did not know exactly where the hell the first one was. It doesn't tell you. It just says, they're on this map, find them. There's no general location. There's no terrain. It just says, 
area, area, mark one, mark one, boss. That's simple, simple, but I mean, it can be tricky. I completed the game within three hours, so it's very short. I would say it's a fun game, but it's very short with uh, the story, uh, the single player content in it. Um, the multiplayer content is a 1v1, or what they're doing now is a 3v3, if you can get three people to play. I mean, three other fighters to play. Uh, and basically, 3v3 is basically you would uh you can level up there and you can level up your uh your combat level in that which can also uh with high enough combat level you unlock the bosses that you fought at a higher fighting uh level so make it more difficult for you to fight them um and you can refight them and you can fight them again so i thought that was kind of interesting and i kind of wanted to do that but i never really got time to upgrade my combat level in there just, you know, fighting a lot of people and you ain't got the skills to win and you keep getting your ass up and you get more XP if you win. It kind of is like a down, you know, like a downside to it. Like, you don't feel like fighting. You don't feel like losing. Too many losses, it starts to affect you. Like, uh, whatever. The uh, upside is, if you have weapons, you have weapons. If your opponent has a weapon and you knock them the fuck out and you get them to drop their weapon, you can pick it up. Downside. If you don't know how to use the weapon, it can do more harm than good. And that is true, because it happened to me a lot, where I ended up messing myself up because I didn't know how to play with the sword. Uh, I had no moves for it, so it was pretty much uh, slow, long attacks, and really didn't do much for me. Um, now, with that being said, let's get into the cons. The cons. The story. The story makes no sense to me at all. I'm dropped in this world where I'm supposed to be a prospect and I'm fighting to become an absolver. But why am I taking out these people? Uh, the people are bad. Well, the first boss that you fight that controls people's minds, he's bad. I know that. So I'm fighting him. But I don't know why I'm doing anything else. I don't know what an absolver is. He's just a fighter, a martial arts fighter or something. I don't know. But it doesn't really give too much detail in it. You can walk around and you have these NPCs that are standing still that might give you clues and information about the story. But finding them is not really easy because there's nothing that says where they are. You can walk around and, oh, there is one. But you got to be careful. Because since this is a multiplayer game, there are people that will fight you. And not NPCs, because they will too, and they will jump you, but real people. I can't tell you how many times I walked around and I'm trying to go to the next fight and then someone out of nowhere comes in and whoops my ass. Just no warning, no bowing to say, hey, man, let's fight. Just literally kicks my ass. And I kind of have to say, like, wow, man, you kind of got to slow down on that. It's, 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 too, it's too much. It's too much. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Uh, but you have to understand, like, this game in itself, it's an interesting game. I do like it, but... It, it, it's that one thing where you kind of, it's kind of real life where someone come out of nowhere and just start attacking you. Oh yeah, you got to be ready. Always be on your guard because all the NPCs will attack you. So you got to be on your guard that way anyway. But to have one or two people or three people come out of nowhere and just start kicking your tail, it's kind of gets a little difficult. It does. It does. But the game is fun. Um, you can, there is a way to shut it off. All you got to do is go to the altar and pretty much just say, hey, Invitations only. I don't want nobody messing with me. So you can do that and and it can happen. I mean, basically, you can pretty much just go and say, hey, man, you know what? I don't want nobody in the game with me. Let's do this. All right. And then for that area, you have nobody in the game. But until you leave that area, it starts all back over. People start coming back in. Why? I want to know why is it if I set to that, that uh, setting, why is it when I go to a new area, it resets? And then people can come back in and then fight me. And then it makes the game a lot more difficult because I have to get to another altar so I don't have people fighting me. Random people fighting me all the time. And it can be difficult, but you you know, you choose what you want. It, the game is fun, though. And, and it's fun. The altar, the map is atrocious because it doesn't tell you where to go. Um, and it doesn't really, I mean, you don't really know where you're going until you get to an altar. You might took a wrong turn and you wind up somewhere else. They should have added a mini map to where at least you know where you're going, but then that would have took away from the whole, um, that would have took away from the whole thing about 
uh, exploring. If you're just following the minimap, you pretty much fall in the minimap and you're just going by that. So that's all I got to say um, to that. Um, another one of the cons is the games crash. The game in my original first uh, video, I showed that the game crashed on me and killed me instantly. And when I look back, I still don't know why I die. It just doesn't say I die. It just says I'm defeated and I just drop. Now I look back, no enemy was there and nobody can, and I, when I played, nobody could just one shot me. There's no, there's no like, oh, I'm level one and they level 60 and they can just one shot. No, they can hit hard, but no one's one shot me. Come on, what the hell? No one's gonna one shot me, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it is what it is. I mean, it, I mean, there's experienced players and there's not experienced players, but the game does crash. I remember I had this one fight where the dude was saying, uh, no, you're lag switching. And I was like, no, I wasn't lag switching. The game crashed um, when I fought you. Like right after I fought you, the game crashed. I was like, and I'm plugged right into my uh, my modem, man. <laughs> my internet is slow. So I don't know what you're talking about. You better get up. And he's like, oh man, I'm sorry. You know, there's a lot of misconception there because the servers aren't really, I don't know if it's the servers or it can't really maintain something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna act like I know, because I don't. All I know is that the game does crash multiple times on me. Um, the falling aspect. Uh, you don't know how many times I die from falling just because I kind of got into a combo and basically I did a roundhouse kick and <laughs> swung myself right off the fucking side of the map. I don't know how many times or killed myself that way. I killed myself more than anybody else killed me. It is just true. It's natural. Um, the game is fun. Um, fighting multiple enemies at once can be hectic. I know the max number of enemies that I fought at once and survived is a total of five NPCs at the same time. It's crazy. Um, I just, you know, kept my distance, you know, kind of try to single one out, do a little kick move because, you know, the kick moves are kind of like a wide range or area move. So you do that, you start taking them out, the NPCs you take out and you gain health from. So you're still winning. You just got to keep going. Um, but with that being said, if I, if I was to rate this game from 1 to 10, I'd give this game for right now with the stuff that I've gathered from it. Uh, it would have to be probably like 6 out of 10, maybe 7 out of 6.5. I'll give it 6.5. The story hurts it because there's not a lot of it. Um, and the settings are kind of all over the place. Like you can't play by yourself if you want to in the crashing the crashing definitely hurt it um and i'd have to say that but if i was to say would i say buy this game now i would say wait on it wait on it until they add more content because the content they have now is not it's not a lot you know for 30 bucks because it's now back 30 bucks if it's 30 bucks i say wait on it you know unless they add more content or the price drops again to pick it up I remember um, in a one update they had a uh, they had these masks, these cool masks that um that you can get, but oh wait there's a downside the masks aren't going to be there forever so they're going to be there for a limited time, so by the time that we had bought the game, the masks were already gone. The masks were there in September. I got in December, the masks weren't there no more. So it's kind of like well, for early adopters of the game you get it, but I mean you kind of have something to bring us in. If you take it away, then it's like well. <laughs> We don't got the mask, so why we have any incentive to get the game now? Or tell anybody else to get the game? You gotta add DLC and keep it in there so we can have it. Cause if we don't have it, then we just feel like, okay, we missed out. But that's all I gotta say, Jens. If you guys wanna pick up the game, I say pick it up at a discounted price, the way it is now. If you guys don't wanna wait and just be like, you know what? Let's just jump in the game right now. You can do that. Drop it.